Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through this website called playgroundai.com. This is actually a really good website to get started with text to image prompt engineering and learn a lot of different kinds of prompting before you buy a subscription from Midjourney or anything else. The main reason for this is its pricing model allows you to create 1000 free images every day. That means you have a lot of leeway to make mistakes and learn as you go. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that all the chapters of today's video are linked as timestamps in the description. So if you want to reach a specific section, you can just click on the relevant timestamp and get there directly. As you see in the homepage, a lot of people have created really beautiful images using advanced prompts. But for today, I just want to get started with a simple prompt and do a few edits to it and see how you can improve a simple image just from those two options. To get started, make sure you are registered and logged in click on this create button this will bring you to the create page where you can type your own prompts i'm going to go over filtering and variations of your images in a future video for today's video i'm going to start with a simple prompt and see how it changes as you change the model change the prompt guidance and the quality level every time you click generate you have the option from one to four images show up i'm going to keep it at one playground ai allows you to use three different models stable diffusion 1.5 2.1 and dolly 2. dolly does require you to have a paid subscription though if you don't know what stable diffusion is stable diffusion is a text to image diffusion model that basically means it's a software which has been fed a lot of different kinds of images so it learns how to read your text and generate relevant results. Stable Diffusion 2.1 is the more updated model with the better not safe for work filter, so it has better filtering. However, 1.5 is better at certain things like recognizing celebrity faces and specific kinds of artistic styles. For instance, like here's a picture of Robert Downey Jr. which looks less like him in the 2.1 version than 1.5. For today's example, I'm going to start with Stable Diffusion 1.5 and move on to 2.1 to see how it changes. For this website, Stable Diffusion 2.1 only allows one dimension, 768 by 768. So if you want to try out different kinds of sizes, Stable Diffusion 1.5 is a better option. Since breakfast is the favorite meal of my day, I'm going to start with a prompt called American Breakfast. I'm going to keep my model at Stable Diffusion 1.5 and change the dimension to 512 by 512. After you have your prompt and model selected, all you do is click generate. And there you have it. You have your first image generated by Playground AI for American breakfast. Now I'm going to keep the model the same and make the image slightly bigger. As you see, it's the same image, but since there is more space, the AI model can include more things in the image. For instance, here there's three eggs and blueberries and coffee, which was not there in the last one. Now I'm going to keep the same prompt and change the model to 2.1. As you see, the style of the image has changed in 2.1, but I don't like this picture, so I'm going to just click Generate again. This one keeps a similar style. However, it seems to have added olives in the breakfast, which I don't really associate with American breakfast, so I'm going to click Generate again. All right, for this specific prompt, I personally like the images being generated by a Stable Diffusion 1.5, so I'm going to keep it at that. Let me do another image generation before I move on to the next parts. Yeah, so the images from Stable Diffusion 1.5 seems to be generating nicer images for the American breakfast. For faces and uh, more futuristic structures, I think 2.1 is better. But for my specific prompt, Stable Diffusion 1.5 is generating a better quality image. So the next section I want to walk over is the prompt guidance. What this means is the lesser the value, the farther it will be from the actual prompt. And if you give a really high value, that means it's going to try to replicate your prompt exactly. So I'm going to reduce the prompt guidance to 5 and see how this one changes. It does still seem like breakfast. However, this is a lot of things splattered together on the table. So it's not like one person's breakfast. This seems like an entire family eating breakfast or maybe it's like a party where you have small containers where you can eat just strawberries or blueberries or eggs. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the prompt guidance all the way to zero. As you see, this is American breakfast and with the prompt guidance zero, this does not look like breakfast at all. This is like a whole different picture. It looks like a forest or just grass or the floor or something. I'm going to change the prompt guidance all the way to 30 and see how good or bad the image gets. Yeah, so this one is about as American as the breakfast can get. So we have orange juice, coffee, toast, eggs 
and they're all sitting on an American flag. So this is as close to the prompt as the model could get. And I'm really impressed with this result actually. The next section I wanna talk about is the quality and the details. That means for the same image, it's gonna to try to increase the quality of the image. The one thing to mention is if you try to increase the quality over 100 or actually over 50, it requires you to have a paid plan. So I'm gonna change my quality to 25 and see how bad the image gets. So the results seem similar to the prompt guidance going down where the breakfast is, seems to be more of a lot of people together versus a single person's breakfast. Basically, if you wanna use American breakfast as a picture on your website, you can't really use this. Let me increase the prompt guidance to as far as I can get and the quality as far as I can get. So that's 50. And instead of one image, let me try creating four images this time. So basically, if you have your prompt guidance all the way, it's gonna add American flag or American ties or something or American napkins here to the picture, which is trying to get it closer to the prompt. Overall, I'm really happy with the images. My favorite one is this one, so I'm just gonna download it right here. To conclude this video, I just wanted to mention that you can keep trying different prompts in a private session instead of a public session. For that, if you click this one, it's gonna not show up in your feed. So if you go to your profile, your feed shows all the images that you have generated till now. To show you what I mean, I'm gonna try a last generation. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna keep it at stable diffusion 1.5, use a single image, and I'm gonna do a private session this time. All right, so this is actually a really nice image. I personally like it a lot. It does show up in your own feed. It just shows up as private. As you see, these two were privately generated, so this does not show up in the main feed of the website. Like, but this one is not private. There's no icon for private. So this should show up in the main feed as well. To conclude this video, I just wanted to check what other people have done with American Breakfast, and here are some of the results. Well, I hope you got some value from that video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I encourage you to try simple prompts yourself and change the prompt guidance and quality to see if you can change your image. Till the next video, thank you so much.